All right, you just heard it from Dave. This warm weather has some homeowners preparing for possible flooding. And that's just what's happening right now in Wayne County, where Pines Drive is closed due to flooding. And 7 Action News reporter Cheryl Choden is at the scene. And Cheryl, what, what a mess out there. Well, Carolyn, because the Rouge River runs through Hines Park, Hines Drive is usually one of the first to flood. It's supposed to. It could be closed for days, but there are other areas. If the conditions are right, we could see flooding, and people live in those areas, and that's the big concern. I just hope it's not bad. Chip Gardier has lived on Orr Lake for a long time, and he's seen a fair amount of flooding. He says his side lot takes the brunt of the water, whether it comes from the lake in the summer or melting snow in the winter. Lately, because of my yard, because we're, it's almost like a jello mold down here where the snow comes down the hill when it melts. So it's been trapped in my yard. It's, it doesn't cross the road. Down the road and right on the water, Todd Mathias says he's hoping it doesn't happen, but he's had water and his boat right up to his deck at times. And there have been times when his neighbors have used sandbags, although not this winter so far. Last year it got pretty close to where they started bringing them in, but we never had to use them because it went down. I guess it's a little worrisome. With the rain expected late tomorrow, combined with melting snow and a ground so frozen it won't absorb any water, there is a potential for trouble. In 2004, some of the homes on Orr Lake were lost or heavily damaged in floods, so everyone keeps a watchful eye on the Hamburg Township website, on the level of the lake, and on what the forecasters say is coming. If we get the full inch of rain and all the snow melts, it could come up three, three feet. You know, by Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Until I saw you out here, I hadn't even thought about it, really. I mean, I knew the water was going to come up, but okay, now I'll, now I'll look into it. We like it here. We're not going anywhere. Flood all at once, too. <laughs> They have a good attitude out there, and they love living out there, but they need to take precautions. Or Lake Clinton River, so many areas affected by this flood watch. Go to our website, WXYZ.com, to check if you're involved, and if you are, you could take some precautions. Again, Heinz Drive, closed, could be closed for the next few days. Reporting live, I'm Cheryl Choden, 7 Action News. And Cheryl, you know flooding is such a mess to clean up. Thank you so much for the live report.